as Louisville grows, we've really outgrown this space. Uh, unfortunately, as the city grows, the, the, the need for tow services grows, and, and this site really isn't conducive to that anymore. Cars of all kinds lined the lot. The abandoned, stolen, even bullet-riddled vehicles sit at the puddled-filled lot on Frankfurt Avenue. Flat paved. Um, Easily accessible, uh, not not just to us, but to the public. You know, if somebody gets their car tow for, say, a parking violation, they need to come down and be able to get their car out. And we want to make it convenient to, for them as well. Yeah. Metro police invited people from the community to the lot to let them see the issues firsthand as they look for solutions, including Councilman Stuart Benson of District 20. This is kind of like a junkyard. Do you want a junkyard next to you? Well, they don't want to see it. But just like out in my district, it's really rural. And even in a yard full of junk, there's a special place for some of these vehicles. Inside of these gates are all vehicles tied to high-profile criminal cases, which could sometimes be here for years. Uh, right now, we have about 580 cars on hold uh, just for some kind of crime or, or fatal collision or, or uh, event like that. And, and we have to hold those cars for usually substantial periods of time. In addition to lack of space, environmental concerns, and the obvious eyesore that stands out, officials want to hear from the public on a solution. You can do a lot of things if you get people and, and let them help you improve the situation. One of the reasons we've asked the community for their input, you know, there may be somebody out there in the community who has a, a wonderful idea we haven't thought about uh, that'll help us uh, resolve this problem for the entire community. And certainly wherever we move, we'd like to be as less of an impact on the community where it's located as possible. Now, Louisville Metro will hold three public meetings, the first one being this Saturday at 10 a.m. In Louisville, Stefan Diggle, WOKY News.